Panetta and Calderelli have uncovered the error that caused both of Flight 1153's engines to quit in midair. But the case isn't closed. Standard flight procedures should have uncovered the error before takeoff and prevented the disaster. Captain Garbi's aircraft went in for repairs in Tunisia the night before the crash. The plane's FQI indicated 790 kilograms of fuel in the tank. After the new fuel quantity indicator was installed, it showed that there was almost four times as much fuel on board, 3,100 kilograms. The following morning, Captain Garbi noticed that the fuel levels had gone up. He assumed the fuel had been added. But when fuel is added to an aircraft, a refueling slip must be left in the cockpit. Where is the refueling slip? The pilot asked to the flight dispatcher where was this refueling slip, but the flight dispatcher was not able to find this refueling slip. I'll get it to you when you get back from Gerba. Roger that. There was no refueling slip because the plane hadn't been refueled. In spite of regulations, the captain left without that vital piece of paper. There are some standard regulations requiring the pilot to take off only when he is sure about the quantity of fuel. With the wrong fuel indicator on board and less fuel than he believed, Captain Garbi makes it to Bari, Italy, and tops up his plane for the next leg of the trip to Germany.